you know, young men and uh, your center really, you know, and that's a position you've got to be really, your, your brain has got to be really acceptable to different things and being able to watch different things. He seems like he's a really smart young man and, uh, and has a good career in front of himself in whatever he chooses to do after football. Yeah, they are. Um, you know, all three of those young men are, are outstanding. And it's, you know, it, it's kids like that that make it fun to go to practice every day. And, you know, I mean, all the cliches I could throw out there. But, uh, I mean, I, I truly do. I've, I tell people all the time, Shawnee Mission East is a special place to, to work and to be a part of. And, you know, I mean, I, I'm so proud and honored to be part of the Lancer community. Yeah. Yeah, really cool. Just, I mean, all, all together. I want to see you guys get that W on Friday night, man. Yes. Come on. I am well, partial. Hey. I am partial to Sunday yes. Sneaks. I, I do. I, uh, I'll, have I mean, my, I'll have my East gear on. I'll be ready to roll. Never. Yeah. I've never been able to wear blue. And, you know, blue in my high school days, not a good thing. Hmm. So, we were green, you know. But okay. It's it's, not, I like blue. I mean, I like, of course, I like KU. I like red and blue, yeah. right? See, yeah. it's funny. If, if, you go, if I go back, like, through my coaching career – Every place that I have coached, the school, excuse me, school colors have been some form of blue. Yeah, that's right. Yep. Everywhere I've been. So, I I don't know. I guess, you know, I, I don't think I could ever go coach, you know, at, at a school that had red in the colors. I think it would just look weird maybe. I'd like know. to see you in like yellow, like something like crazy, like yellow, like a like a neon green you or can something bl- like that. You can bling me up with some blue, you know. Saber hook you wear. up with some East gear. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I I, I, don't, I, I don't have something. access to all that stuff though. Not that I'm probably ever going to get to go to any games as a fan, but yeah. I mean, I'll, and I can't wear it. When you I'm can't working. wear it as a broadcaster. No. Yeah. I, I mean, I'd love to put KU all over the UClick TV van, but you know, that doesn't work out too well sometimes. Yeah. That would not. I mean, but yeah. you know, so you know, you do you do have some stuff in here though. Uh, you know, with with but the Jayhawk on it. Thanks for, for thanks for uh, doing that. I know, you know, coach couldn't make it, but you know, that's, this is a special treat for these guys. It's their senior year; they're kicking it off right, and you know, in studio here. And uh, what a fabulous job! Yeah, pretty cool. Yeah, I was pretty, you know, I was pretty excited. Obviously, we love Coach Hoover; he's a great guest. But uh, you know, I I was joking with him and some of the other coaches as as we were leaving that, you know, the the kids people would probably rather hear from them than any of us anyway well that's a no-brainer yeah. they got yeah. more fans than we do <laughs> yeah exactly so you know and, and like i said those are three great young men uh that you know to represent our team in the shawnee mission east community you know and come out and we do have two other captains uh coleman wom who said he had a lot of homework tonight and so wanted to stay home and get that done smart men <laughs> yep, understandable. You know, I told them that this was not required. He really had a date. Yeah, may- maybe he did. I don't know. <laughs> All right. I don't know. But anyway, and then uh, – They focus for Friday, dude. Tony, our running back, Tony Friends, he, uh, you know, also I guess had something going on. But he, uh, another captain, those are our five captains this year. And they're all five outstanding young men, and they were chosen by their peers. So I am looking forward to – you know, uh, another great season at Shawnee Mission East. I'm not going to make any kind of season prediction. But, uh, I mean, I, I think that we're going to be well prepared and we're in shape and we're ready to go for Friday. You know, in football you you don't like to lose because, you know, it you get nine, what, nine regular season games, right? Nine, yeah, eight, eight regular season games. The ninth is your first playoff game. You know, but if you don't open up with somebody that's at least, you know, Three fourths the way, really, really good. Yeah, and you're good. You don't know where you stand, and you don't really know what to work on. I think it's, you know, that early. If you, you know, there's, there's not very many good losses like there is maybe in basketball where you need, you got a long season, you need to adjust, you need to mm-hmm. wake the kids up. It's hard to have that, but you know, it's it. But it's hard when you open up against a good team and and, and Gardner Edgerton, good team. Yeah, I mean, they were ten and one last year. Like I said, it was one of our three losses. But, uh, you know, Coach Hoover made a good point the other day. We're, we're going to know right away where we are and where we stand. I mean, they're definitely one of the – Gardner is one of the teams that is going to be in the mix when it comes playoff time, you know, and they're in mid-November vying to uh, represent the east side of the state for, you know, to go to the state championship. And so, 
I mean, we're getting to play one of the best teams right out of the gate, and, you know, we're going to find out if, if we can play and how some of our young guys are going to step in. And, you know, this senior class has really done a good job leading, you know, especially those three young men we had in here tonight. But, uh, like I said, I, I'm excited and I'm ready to go. Well, I was over uh, – I had, went over and met with uh, Coach Sedler, John Sedler, the athletic director over there today. Known him for quite a while. He he was a Park Hill guy, got, has a lot of Kansas City, Kansas connections. I was like, how did you make it out here? He still lives in Park – Park, Parkville area. And, oh, uh, wow. Yeah, that's that's a long drive, and yeah, that's, that's a long a ways out there. Mm-hmm. Even from east, it's still a long ways out there. But yeah. nice facility. He took us through the weight room, brand new. I mean, that, that's that's some I, – I was surprised. I, what was Gardner Edgerton like 10 years ago? Like class four, and now they're class yeah. six? They, they, big time now. They joked the house that Bubba built. Yeah, the Bubba. We, we ate a hamburger in a, a restaurant there where Bubba's ate many hamburgers. And um, so, yeah, I mean, uh, it, it you know, it's it's – that's uh the weight room was impressive i'll tell you that much yeah i mean and, and it's 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 going to be a, a really good matchup for you know we it, it is tough to defend their flex bone offense i'm not going to lie but the fact that we are just two years removed from it you know these seniors remember That's playing in it and so i feel like that gives us a little bit more of an advantage than maybe some other teams have Based, you know, just because we and and us coaches that were there, which our entire defensive staff was there under Coach Delaney, and so I mean we're familiar with the flex bone and things that give it fit. So, right. I mean we we've got some special things in for Friday night, and uh, you know some wrinkles. You didn't show the special things at the jamboree. I'm some sure. wrinkles? No, we did not. Um, <laughs> some wrinkles? You know, yeah, some wrinkles that uh, you know hopefully we can catch Gardner off guard and get some big plays on defense well there's always a, you know a couple of plays that every coach you know probably three to five that saves till postseason and then, oh and yeah then, you know there's always those plays and you don't like to pull them out during regular season do you no no you know, you always got to keep something you know kind of to yourself you know you don't want to throw out everything week one but at the same time playing a good team like this we we have to have you know, a lot more ready than maybe some other teams that are, you know, playing a less caliber opponent. Right. You might have to. I mean, hey, it's going to be a really good game. It is. I'll be pumped to, to see what happens. I'm excited. What about those Royals? Yeah, the Royals uh, sale. We talked about it last weekend or last week on the show. Not weekend. All Man. done. Yeah, the sale's all done. What's the – it's not – it's a little – is it a little over – it's over they, a billion now, Yeah, right? I think it was like right right at a billion, maybe a little bit over. But uh, the the guy who bought him, local businessman, he's in Kansas City. And so I think that's that's good that he's going to be a local owner. The one thing I did hear floated is that the next thing he wants to do is move the stadium downtown. Yeah, they must move stadium downtown, and uh, uh, there'll be there'll be a lot of resistance to that. Um, but one thing is, uh, I've I've known some people that have gone to different uh, downtown stadiums. Pittsburgh has one. Obviously, St. Louis has one. Uh, and the vibe you get down there is awesome. They should, you know they should kind of shut off the streets, and then just that whole it's like you set up the stadium and the whole area around it just. Just rock, you know, it takes off like a rocket. What would ship. that? What just think about what it would do for, you know, Hyvie Arena, you know, yeah, uh, that kind of thing. And here's my my feeling on a downtown stadium. Um, you know, Arrowhead's fine out there. It's once a week, once you know every week, every other week, right. whatever it is, sixteen games, eight yep. eight at home, playoff games. That's fine. You know, it's a great it's a great party atmosphere. Baseball is every night, right? Mm-hmm. Okay. So you're working downtown. And all three of us are down there, and hey, our wives just let us know that they're going out for happy hour with their friends, right? We're downtown already working. Hey, let's go catch a game. No yeah. plans to do it. You, it, you know, it, it just – you get those extra fans being around a lot of people, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, that makes, yeah. yeah, that makes a lot of sense. I mean, that's the advantage to having it downtown, I think. Yeah, yeah. There, there are definitely are advantages to it. When I went to San Diego a couple of years ago with the family, with the wife and kids, we... Oh, was that a downtown stadium? Yeah, it was a downtown was stadium. Cool? We, we visited it. it. It was a very nice ballpark. I think it was Petco Park. 
Yeah. Uh, is the name of it, but I the the thing that my wife kept imagining was like how much of a nightmare it would be to park getting in and out. Well, now I was getting ready to go there. Just think what that would do for our rail system here. I think if we had yes. a downtown park, rail goes out. The rail, the rail system gets better. And we talked to some people down there because they didn't have a game that day. They were playing the next day. But uh, people say that I guess they have a train or, or a, um, a railway or some, something. Some sort something of, yeah. that goes. And a lot of people park at a, a garage and then take the, the train down there. There was lots of restaurants and businesses and things in the area. And we actually ate at one of the restaurants down there. I can't remember what it was, but I mean, it was really good food. And uh, we got a discount because we had just toured the ballpark. You know, you could show, like, your right. stub to get a little discount at one of the restaurants there. Yeah. So we went and checked it out. I mean, I, I didn't have any problems with that. It was a great, oh, yeah. great mean, ballpark. And, um, you well, know, it, like, it, think about it now. Like, you go to uh, you go to Rolls now, and then, like, after the game, say you you're, you're come from out of town and you want to go out. After the game, you can't, we ain't walking nowhere. Nope. You got at least a 10 what, minute drive. What's the, what's the hotel minutes. across the street that used to be so busy? <laughs> I can't remember it. Oh, <laughs> oh yeah. I know what you're talking about. Yeah, uh, we're going. Adam's Mark. Adam's, Adam's Mark. Mark. I'm walking yeah. over to Taco Bell. You know, there's, yeah, there's nothing around there's nothing there. There's nothing around there, right? Adam's Mark Mark. <laughs> I mean, think about us. When we went out of town, we went and saw Rangers Royals a couple years ago. I mean, if we, we grabbed our Uber and we hit the, I think we hit the closest bar there was there. It was like that little karaoke bar. That was a gas station. Yeah, bridge. yeah. It was not. It was like seven minutes, seven minutes yeah. away. We couldn't walk there though. How nice would it have been if we could have got could, out of the stadium, walked down the street, and you could have scootered in a bar already. That'd been awesome. You could have scootered there. If so it was you downtown, could do the scooter too. You, you could do the scooter too. Yeah, we got the scooters. Yeah, uh, I think it's. In downtown I, mean, I think it's it's good. Any time yeah. they could take. Uh, I mean, they'll obviously they'll find a spot out here or whatever. Well, here's I mean, it probably won't be like true downtown. But yeah, there's. Uh, I guess there's an empty lot where they used to park police cars. Yeah, is the site that has been propo- proposed i say put it on the border down here right here on state state line yeah <laughs> um you know so i don't know i mean this you know i, I know being down here the hy arena you know there's some other businesses that are kind of popping up around here but i think i'm with you i think the downtown stadium would not only help the team, but I think it, it helps this whole area well here's the thing 20 years ago maybe even 10 years ago there wasn't enough um, people living down here now. This, I mean, the crossroads area, the river market area, the downtown area, the, the I mean, the, the power and light lofts. I mean, there's so, I mean, we lived down here all summer in, in, in a loft, uh, and uh, I didn't realize, you know, what had happened down here. I mean, the population down here would support it, and mm-hmm. it would be great. And, you know, when was the last time you were down in this area, um, you know, spent a lot of time down this area before you started coming here to Hy-Vee Arena doing the show. I mean, when this yeah. – so sports, man, sports and arts, what does it do? It brings you into downtown, right? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I'm – obviously, I spend a lot more time, time down at the here arts. now. You, you over at the arts now, you go to the Performing Arts Center a lot, I bet. Do yeah. what? <laughs> Come out the arts. You go over to the, uh, the, the uh, Kaufman Performing Arts Center a lot, don't you, Gary? Yeah, I perform there twice a week. You do? Yeah, you didn't know that? I missed it. I it need it to must go. be karaoke. Wait, oh, yeah. <laughs> it's like a big karaoke yeah, night. I just think a big karaoke Tuesday night. nights is karaoke night over there. Wow. Yeah. All right. That's, why, that's why you couldn't get a hold of me last night. Oh, that's true. You were, sing- you were busy singing. Yeah, I was busy. Making Live money. band. Live band karaoke. Yeah. Um, I'll, I'll, I'll vote for it. Yeah. Uh, uh, Ezekiel Elliott did sign his contract this morning. I said all along he would not miss a game, that Jerry would get the deal done. Deal is now done. He got ninety million, six years, fifty million guaranteed, making him the highest paid running back in the NFL over Gurley's forty five million guaranteed. And so now that Zeke has signed, he was at practice today, looked great. Hashtag fire Jason Garrett. Uh this means a few things. This means that the prediction our prediction of, or yeah, you predicted them to win the division, right? I did. Like okay, I did too. Uh, it's going to come true, mm-hmm. long as he, as long as everybody stays healthy, of course. Yeah. Um, the second thing that means that Saquon uh, will get fifty five guaranteed because yep. it always goes up, and Saquon's going to be that dude, right? Saquon is. Saquon, he'll, he'll is, get, Saquon yeah. and Zeke in the same division, which is crazy. They're those guys, so Saquon will get fifty five probably. 
Um, that's just kind of how it goes. He'll get more. He'll get more than Zeke. When that's just how it goes because yeah. it'll be in it'll be in like two years or whatever. Yeah. So.